Right, today's video we're headed over to Anfield um, over in Liverpool to do a POV shoot um, spend a bit of time walking around the murals, the stadium um, and yeah, that, so for those who don't know, I run a Liverpool football blog as well so if you're a Liverpool fan and you found this video link to the description over to the Liverpool focus side but this is just for the photography side we're going to be doing a shoot over Anfield going around all the murals there's been um, a clop one painted recently we're going to have a look at the new stand that's getting built um, and just get some nice pictures of in and around the ground anyway let's get into it Yeah, so not the greatest conditions today. It's a bit cold, a bit cloudy, but nothing we can't sort out in post-production. I'm gonna shoot at 2.8 for a bit. Ah, oh, these are fantastic. Don't know if you can see them clearly. Rush, Suarez, Dalglish, Fowler, Torres, Pite, and Aldridge. Suarez one is pretty cool. Try and get a shot of that through the fence, maybe. Maybe change the spot. And if we walk further down, I believe there's more of them. And itself, people working on the bridge there. Here's the ones of the current players you've got, well, I'll say current. We've got Origi, Firmino, Diaz, Nunes, Sadio, and Mo Salah. The Origi one is pretty, pretty good, the Origi one. Focus on his eye. The Diaz one as well. It's pretty good. Maybe we stand on this bench and get a good angle of these. It's a nice little shot of the LFC thing there.
put the tree in. Right, so we're just walking around behind Anfield Road. As you can see, there's the main stand, all the site. Well on the way, but over here, see this Trent Alexander Arnold mural. I got a nice picture of this last time, so I want to replicate that tree wrapping around the mural itself. If you can see, so we're going to get the same shot. change that to spot autofocus so we just make sure we get it on Trent get, we'll get all the tree in first and then we'll get a bit of the tree in and we'll crop that in post I'm going to walk around now walk around the stadium itself that's a nice, we'll get a nice one here of the badge using the um, barrier as a line of sight Rush one here as well, it's pretty cool. I'll get one of this, whatever here. The Hillsborough Memorial's over there, but there's people just taking a look, so we'll come back to that a bit later on. Or these trees, we might get a better line of sight with the, uh, the badge with these trees. Oh yeah, this is a good shot. I like this one. I like that one. In fact, let's go up the street and maybe even get a good shot of the same badge. But with some street aspects involved. Obviously it's got the local area. We'll see what it looks like. with that I've just seen another angle of the badge I like we'll change that to spot auto focus we'll crop it in post maybe that'll come out nice and clear do you know those people have moved from the Hillsborough Memorial so we'll go over maybe get a nice shot angle of that Ian Rush mural I may, that'll make a nice photo if I can get a nice crop and some nice um, presets on it It's 
a bit of a tricky situation taking pictures of things like that. I know it's um, it's there for that, you know, it's there for the public, it's there for the community, but I still feel a bit funny taking pictures of things like that. But there's plenty of people taking pictures. So for those who don't know, this is the Champions Wall. Um, shows obviously all our success with the statue of Bob Paisley. Right here, you get a picture of this. You know, running with the nifty 50 today, so I don't know how much of the wall I can get in. But yeah, we're walking around the back of the cock now, which is probably still the most iconic stand at Anfield to where the atmosphere all is to where everybody wants to be and if you're watching this on top of the cock you'll be wondering why I'm explaining all this and it's simply because this video is being used on my photography channel as well so there may not be people who know much about it so you'll have to bear with me I get a picture of the sign why we're here fact get a picture of the cop sign and try and get no we're not going to get the angle of it the Bill Shankly statue maybe if we go back a bit we'll try and pull something decent in post with this not holding out too many hopes with it to be honest so every time people come to Anfield this is the one statue that everybody gets their picture with because he's obviously a famous Liverpool manager. Just in case the camera's picking this up. Obviously now the wind subsided because I've gone into a side street. I've just realised how squeaky my shoes are. So, if that's a feature within this video, I do apologise. Now a couple of pictures I really want to get here is of obviously the new stand being built. And if I remember correctly from last time I was here, there's a road close sign here where you can get a good line of sight right through the stadium. So we're going to get a couple of shots of in-focused signs and in-focused lines of sight. So they've moved the signs since last time I was here. So if I don't get any better pictures, I'll put those ones up so you can see what I was looking for. But yeah, I got some really cool shots last week. So I'll probably put those ones up if you're wondering why it looks different in the pictures on screen. But why would it? Yeah, we might as well get it. I think it was this sign, to be honest with you. So... Try and get an angle. Maybe even focus on the side in the background. But yeah, there'll be a few on screen for you to check out the pictures that I've got here. Now, just behind. I did get a nice picture last time 
of the Arkles pub, a famous pub around the ground where all the match goers go to. And it was using this lamppost, the obviously the uh, post box as well, the little trees overhanging. So we're going to try and get something, replicate something pretty similar here. We can just get this lamppost in. There, that's the shot I was looking for. But we're going back into Stanley Park now. There's a lovely old school Stanley Park sign that I want to get a picture of just around this corner. There we go. Absolutely iconic in the streets of Liverpool, people sticking the stickers on it and things. Do you know what, I did take loads of pictures of all these um, murals when they were getting actually painted by the guys over at Muir Walls. So what I'll do is, while I'm talking now, I'll just cycle a few up on screen because I do think that's more authentic where I'm getting the actual, the, you know, the artists actually painting them because it, the actual fence wasn't in the way uh, there was obviously a lot more to focus on than just the wood murals they may not come across very good on camera so I'll cycle a few pictures as I say now I'm speaking of all the ones I took last week I'm back here again and these Liverpool badges keep giving me great, great visuals great picture uh, opportunities so I apologise. And you know what I've just seen? Hopefully this will look good post. Look at that. You won't be able to see it on camera, but there's a welcome to Anfield sign right through the trees. So hopefully this will look good in post. Now as we're approaching the Klopp uh, mural, just wanted to take a minute to mention like what I'm thinking of doing going forward um, especially for the top of the cop and obviously the uh, photography channel because obviously I want to make more of these videos going around Anfield and around the streets and things so I think I'm going to come down on a match day when I haven't got tickets um, and just do some street photography you know of people go in the game you know get get some general atmosphere in and around well not in in obviously but around the stadium um then maybe watch the game in the local pub there's quite a few around here and then get some pictures afterwards if you think that would be something you'd be interested in obviously getting pictures before and after the games then let me know so as i say just before we get here it's on the side of a lady's house it was vandalized they actually vandalized their drive doing it and um hopefully they've cleared it up Ooh, I can tell you right now, we haven't cleared it up, there's still blue paint all over it. But it's such an amazing piece of art, it really is. I'll probably just pop up loads of different images that I've took in recent weeks of this, with and without the blue paint. Um, the idea is it gives us an opportunity post-production to take the blues out of this and potentially, you know, some nice black and white shots maybe. But as you can see, see it's an amazing bit of art of the Liverpool manager destroyed by local rivals. And as I say, I don't know if you can pick it up, there's blue paint all over their drive as well. But yeah. Nevertheless, a great bit of art. Mm -hmm. 
I know I've took loads of these, but it's another great shot of the uh, the Liverpool obviously logo on the side of the stadium coming up. So I'm going to record this and get a few pictures and put them on screen now. I think this picture is really cool because it's obviously got the houses and stuff on it. So yeah, just wanted to add that before we finish. So, Sod's Law. I've just put my GoPro away when I finished them at the clock mural. Um, I thought that's it, I'm finished, I'll put my camera away. So this is a reason why you never switch off. Because as I've pulled up to back to the ground, <clears throat> where the players enter the stadium on match day, in the team coach, so before the match, like an hour before kickoff, because um, they're playing West Ham today, they roll the shutters up, about five Liverpool players in their cars go past. The only one I got was of the back of Mo Salah's car, seeing him in the driver's seat. So it's not a great shot, but it's just proof that you should never switch off, never pack up until you're in the car. I'm absolutely devastated I haven't got some shots there of the players in their, in their cars coming up. But yeah, that is it for today's video. If you did like it and you do like these type of videos on the channel, please let me know in the comments down below. As I say, I do want to do more stuff on the Anfield front. It is easy for me to get over there and go around the local areas. And if you're watching this on the photography channel and you're a Liverpool fan, the link to Top of the Cop will be in the description. But yeah, the next POVs I've got planned to go around some local cities. So yeah, look out for them on the channel. It's getting pretty noisy. I'm out.